Hey guys, welcome to my channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new lecture of DevOps series that is lecture number 12. The agenda of this lecture is we will understand about the Maven. Now what is Maven? The simple answer is it is a build tool. It manages dependencies. Yes, of course, both points are correct. However, the best answer is Maven is an automation and project management tool, particularly in Java project. So Maven is written in Java and is used to build and manage Java based project. But it can also be used to build and manage project written in C hash, Ruby, Scala and other languages. So Maven is a open source popular build tool developed by the Apache group to build, publish and deploy several projects at once for better project management. The tool allows the developer to build and document the lifecycle framework. Now why we, uh, uh, why we use Maven? Let us understand first. If we don't use Maven, what will be the problem we, we will face when we create a project, particularly in Java project? So whenever we create a project, then you need some dependencies. Let us say we create a project called Java project. To complete this project, we need some third party libraries. For example, I want to work with database. I need to have related database libraries. I want to connect with my with uh, MySQL. Then I need to download the jar file to connect with the database. Also, if I want to connect with the Selenium, I need to download the jar file to attach in the project. Similarly, if I want to work with the testing team, I need to download the jar file and add it into the project. So whenever you do some project, there are number of third parties dependency and you need to download the related libraries manually from different website and you need to attach them in your project. So these are the manual process that you need to do normally. Apart from these, suppose today we have downloaded the different types of libraries and suppose tomorrow I want to upgrade the latest version of library. So what we have to do, we have to remove all existing version of libraries and again download the latest version of jar file and we have to add it in our project and this is the continuous process. So these are the two major problem that is download manually and upgradation so to avoid this problem we have something called maven tool so there are some tasks performed by the maven that is maven generate the source code it generates the documentation from the source code compile the source code packages the compiled code into jar file, install the package code in the local repository, server or central repository. So we can easily build a project using Maven. We can add jar and other dependencies of the project easily using help of Maven. So Maven provide project information such as log document, dependency list, unit test, reports, etc. So Maven is a very helpful for the project while updating central repository of jars and other dependencies. With the help of Maven, we can build any number of projects into output types like jar, var, etc. without doing any scripting. So using Maven, we can easily integrate our project with source control system like GitHub. We can also integrate 
maven with jenkin for automation i will show you definitely in the demo when we will start the demo in maven i will show you all those things there are some advantage of using maven so maven can add all the dependencies required for project automation automatically by uh, reading pom files pom file is nothing but a configuration file remember it so one we one can easily build their project to jar war etc as per the requirements using maven so maven makes easily to start project in different environment and one doesn't need to handle the dependency injection builds processing etc adding a new dependency is very easy one has to just write a dependency code in the pom file so whatever the dependencies or plugins required for maven you simply write under the pom file it will download automatically now uh, maven repository <coughs> let us discuss about the maven repository there are basically three types of uh, repository one is the local repository other is the remote repository and there is a central repository central repository is working same as the remote repository so let's discuss one by one so local repository refers to the developer's machine it's it could be your laptop it could be your uh, desktop whatever it is <clears throat> so which is uh, which is where all the project material is saved the repository contains all the dependencies jars now remote report remote repository the remote repository refers to the repository present on the web server which is used when maven need to download dependencies this repository works the same as central repository so whenever anything is required from the remote repository it is first downloaded the local repository and then used now central repository central repository refers to the maven community that comes into action when there is a need for dependencies and those dependencies cannot be found in local repository so maven download the dependency from here whenever it is required now there is a some important concept so most significant concept there are five primary and most significant concept of maven the first one is the project object model means pom file the other one is the dependencies and repository then uh, build life cycle phases and goals then build profiles and build plugin so let's discuss one by one now project mod, project uh, object model that is pom so whenever you create a maven project it will provide something called pom.xml file so by default it will create a pom.xml file this is the main file which will have maven project basically the whole maven project is controlled by the pom.xml file so pom refers to xml file with all the information regarding project and configuration details so whatever the configuration details that is required for a particular project the pom uh, contains all those information you have to provide those information inside the pom file then it will automatically download it from the central repository if it is not present in the local repository it contains the project description as well as details regarding the versioning and configuration management of the project the xml file is in the project home directory maven search the pom in the current directory when any given task need to be executed so this is what the xml file uh, we have discussed regarding this now the next one is the dependencies and repository so dependency refer to the java libraries required uh, for project it's related to the libraries or some other uh, files as well <clears throat> so repository refers to the directories of packaged jar file 
If the dependencies are not present in your local repository, then Maven download it from the central repository and store them into the local repository. The next one is the uh, build lifecycle phases and goals. This consists of the sequence of build phases and each build phase consists of series of goals. Each goal is responsible for a particular task. So whenever, whenever a process is executed, all the purpose related to that phase and its plugin are also compiled. Now next one is build profile. The build profile refers to the set of configuration values required to build a project using different configuration. So different build profiles are added to POM files when enabling different builds. About profile help in customizing the build for different environment. Now build plugin. A Maven plugin refers to the group of goals that may or may not be the same phase. The plugins are used to perform a specific goal. Plug plugin is nothing but a different types of configuration. There are different types of configuration available in the plugin. So Maven has its standard plugin that can be used if required. Users can also implement their own in Java. Now let's discuss about the Maven architecture. The project created in Maven contains POM file that describe the aspects of the project essential. So Maven architecture shows the process of creating and generating a report according to the requirement and executing lifecycle phases, goals and plugins and so on from the first step. So how does Maven architecture work? The first steps refer to the configuration, configuring Maven, which is stored in the POM file, POM.xml file. The POM file includes all the configuration that Maven needs. The second step is to download the dependency defined in POM.xml. So whatever the XML file or the configuration, configuration is uh, defined in the POM.xml, it will download it from the remote repository to the local repository and after the user start working in Maven, the tools provide the various default setting. So there is no need to add every configuration in the POM.xml file. Okay. So in this introduction to Maven tutorial, I have explored why Maven is used and all the introduction of Maven, the fundamental concept of Maven and Maven architecture and its life cycle. Some of many areas we co I covered include uh, build tools, dependencies, pom.xml file and so and so. So in the next video, I will install the install and configure the Maven. We, uh, we will create a small project in Maven with the help of hands-on demo. If you have any queries, please leave them into the comment section. I will try my best to answer your all queries. Till then, thank you.